Hello Tom and Cheese Wheels. Yes, today we're going to learn how to fix my Xbox 360, but before we do, I want to tell you why we're going to learn that. It started a few weeks ago when I moved into my new apartment. You remember my new apartment, don't you? It was featured in this video. Click on the lamp. Anyway, this new apartment seemed to have a rodent problem. Me and my roommates found that there was this mouse that was much too smart, so when we couldn't catch it using this, we decided to use YouTube to see if it could solve the problem for us. And using this video, we caught the mouse in about 10 minutes. Now that's the beginning of my trusting relationship with YouTube, and today I'm ready to take it to the next level. I've had this E74 problem with my Xbox 360 for a few weeks, and I'm kind of fed up with it, especially since Best Buy and Radio Shack won't fix it for me, and that their next best recommendation is to bring it to Microsoft, who will fix it for a measly 100 $140. But anyway, that's where I'm going with this video. I'm going to see if I can trust YouTube again, this time with a little bit more of my personal assets at stake, and see if it can teach me how to fix this Xbox. Alright, so, let's begin. Oh, and it says this should be done in 40 minutes, so I should be able to take it apart and fix it and reassemble it and be on time for my next class. So, we'll see about that. Okay, step one. What? Okay, it says step one, disassemble your entire Xbox. <laughs> I was hoping there would be a more step-by-step -step version of that. Okay. <laughs> disassemble begin! I'm using another YouTube video on how to disassemble the Xbox properly. Whoa! You have to kind of innovate. Oh. I'm scared of those noises. The DVD drive just comes right out of the Xbox, and you are left with something that has a lot of fins. So I need to get in there now. Alright Tom, I've kind of reached the point where I'm at a standstill, I can't get these screws open. I really don't want to go to the hardware store again to get another bit. You know what this video really needs is something at the beginning telling you all the parts you will need. Alright, I finally found the bit that I was looking for, but the edges are completely shaven off. So, I don't think I'll be able to do this today. Maybe I can make it into a video of putting your Xbox back together. Yeah! Alright, so you're taking your Xbox all apart. You're kind of stuck at the point where you need to go further and take all this junk off. So you need to seal it away before all the dust stuff in the room gets to the insides and destroys it like some sort of flesh-eating bug or fish. So, you're going to have to take all the screws that you took out on the back and put them in. So, on to the next step, which is putting the fan and the, uh, who knows what this thing is. Now, there's very little to secure this airway in its place, so it kind of wiggles around a little bit. Alright, now for the DVD drive. You just need to make sure that these go back on exactly the way you took them off. There's only one way it can fit in. Alright, so now you're going to position this piece on top using these aluminum guides and uh, make sure those stay on the outside of this aluminum frame. You can place the six screws in the proper positions. These two down the middle holes. And start screwing. That's what she said. Now for the left side of the box. This is backwards. Alright, back is snapped together. And the front connects in one, two, three, four places. You want the side with the little notch in the front to go towards the front. Snap it in place. It should take all of one second. There. That was so much easier than I was making it. Alright, now for the top. Oops. See what I've done here? I forgot to apply this little piece of metal tape back on the inside. I'll be sure to fix that next time I take it apart. This part should just snap back on. Yes. All together now. Hard drive. Alright, hard drive on. Let's see if it actually turns on. Yeah. Yay, it works! Wait, I mean, it works so far as it doesn't work. Alright, so what have I learned from this little incident? Well, I can't really trust YouTube to tell me that I can fix my Xbox 360 in about 40 minutes because it's taken me 7 hours and I didn't do anything to it. On the other hand, I didn't completely destroy it. Someday soon though, I would like to actually do a video where I show that I fixed it. But my camera now informs me that I have less than 60 seconds of battery life left, so that's all you're gonna get. I'll see you Thursday.